Hello YouTube, my name is Jared Discord, welcome back once again to Discord and Minecraft. Uh, sun's going down here, I didn't realize uh, how late it was getting, I'm going to go sleep real quick here. How is everyone doing today? It is Sunday morning, I am regrettably on the last day of my three day weekend this weekend. Um, just kind of hanging out at home today, doing some relaxing, some maxing and relaxing. Playing some more Minecraft, as always. Um, I think within the next week or so here, I'm going to start up a new series. This one won't be every day anymore. It'll be like every other day. And the other one, I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. I'm kind of thinking it might be Skyblock, because Skyblock is a lot of fun. It's a little bit different. But I'm also thinking maybe of a, like, a super hostile map, like a, a Vex map or something like that, because... Those would definitely be a different change of pace because this series is about, you know, building and, you know, exploration and stuff like that. Those series are about trying to survive as hard as you can and being killed repeatedly. I still haven't died in this world here, so you guys haven't seen me die yet, so uh, <laughs> maybe you're wanting to see that. So I don't know. I'm considering one of the super hostile maps. Um, I was looking at a few of them the other day. Nothing really stood out to me too much. I mean, the uh, the Kaizo Caverns is a good-looking one. Spellbound Caves is really nice. So, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have a particular request for what series I'm, I should do, uh, it's going to be another Minecraft series. I won't start different games until the channel is a little bit bigger. But uh, I'm going to start doing that very soon. Here, you guys will be uh, able to help me pick what I do next. So just let me know. Do you like the idea of Skyblock? Or would you like to see me do something super hostile where I die a bunch of times and get frustrated and stuff? Because that sounds like fun, too. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. That was rude. So anyways, still here in the village, I want to show you a couple things that I did. First of all, is this building right here. This is going to be the bakery. I like the wood floor. I really like this. I like the counter here. Put pressure plates here. I like the crafting bench right there. And of course I like the wheat there. I just like how this building turned out, you know? It's just got a single piece of glowstone lighting it. Mobs aren't spawning in here. My favorite part though, I couldn't figure out what to do with the roof. Because I didn't want this building to look too much like this one right next to it. So what I did, was I made the roof a little different. There's a wheat farm on top of the roof. And I really like that. I tried to put trap doors on the side there. Apparently you can't put trap doors on farmland. Uh... I don't know why. I guess that's one of the things that uh, makes the game lose reality or something. <laughs> but yeah, I like how this house turned out. This is really nice. Villagers have been going in and out of it. Uh, haven't seen any babbies. No babby villagers yet. Ooh, hi. But, uh, whoa, hey, don't you walk into my face like that. You're a raw chicken guy. No one likes you. Um... No babby villagers yet. I haven't really been putting a lot of effort into uh, breeding the villagers. I have put some effort into breeding the animals, though. I captured some pigs, built a pen for them, captured some cows, and I've been using all the eggs I brought over with the chickens here. So this is going to be a huge, huge, huge thing for us in terms of being able to train the villagers now because there's already a pork guy, there's a raw chicken guy. So they're taking the stuff here, just got to breed up the animals, save a lot of the uh, stuff, and do all that. Uh, for sheep, I'm going to have a separate larger sheep pen out here, because there's going to be a lot of sheep, because wool is really easy to trade, really easy to get. So I'm going to have it out that way, because sheep are really noisy and annoying. <laughs> but anyways, let me show you this building here. This is what we're going to finish working on here today. This is the portal room. I uh, put iron doors on here so villagers can't come in. Um, I've always liked this style of lighting down here with the uh, nether rack with fire under glass. I was going to make this building look more like the others in the area, like have wood here, but it turns out even like four blocks of distance between glass and wood still sets the wood on fire, so yeah. I, I kind of had half of this burned down before I realized that was the issue. <laughs> Uh, I got glowstone in the ceiling there to complement that, and I put the iron bars around here. Let me know what you think about that. I really like the way that looks. I like how it turned out. I like it just gives it a different, uh, different sort of uh, visual look to the 
place, you know? Oh, excuse me. Got stuff in my throat. But now we're going to put a roof on, and I am going to make it a wooden roof, just because um, I like to keep I like to keep stuff. Uh, oh, I can't even think of words today. Jeez. This is what I get for staying up all day yesterday and watching a Lord of the Rings marathon, which I finished, by the way. Eleven hours later, I finished that. Well, that was a good way to spend my Saturday, you know? It was International Hobbit Day, of course, in the books. It's uh, Bilbo and uh, Frodo's birthday on September 22nd. Wow, I am doing this so badly. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we got some stairs here. Let's go on up. Need some more planks, too. Oh, my nose is all stuffy. I'm so sorry for you guys hearing my sniffly nose and my coughing and just... Yuck. Uh, it's that time of year where allergies really get to me. So, uh, it's fun times. Fun times for all. Let's see here. We'll do all this. And let's see. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I want right side upstairs. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, a lot of new stuff coming out in the snapshots. I haven't checked any of that out. I prefer to, you know, like, wait to, uh, to experience all that when it's, you know, freshly out. It's always uh, fun to anticipate what's coming out. But then again, you know, you, you miss out on some of the fun because, you know, people do all these videos. And, of course, I'm the kind of guy who... I spoil things for myself. I can't help spoilers. I love spoilers so much. So I spoil things for myself all the time. It's really, it's really bad. I hate that I do that to myself, but there's just part of me that I can't help knowing what's going to happen, you know? In some movies, I manage to avoid spoilers, like Avengers and Dark Knight Rises. I avoided spoilers like the plague. I did not want to know anything about those movies, and I went in, and it was just a great experience. But then there's other movies. Um, I'm trying to think of one off the top of my head. Oh, the, uh, the new X-Men movie, the uh, X-Men First Class a couple years ago. I, I could not resist, you know, reading all the spoilers I could for that one. I was very excited about that movie, and in the end, it was just, you know, it was, it was hard to resist. So I'm one of those guys who spoils stuff for myself. I don't, I don't like that fact, but I, I just can't help myself sometimes. And that's the way it is with these, uh, the Minecraft snapshots. Oops. You know, it's... It's so much fun to see all this new stuff that's coming, and even though it's uh, months away, I can't resist looking to see what's coming next. That's always the uh, the fun part there for me. Um, I was never... I didn't start playing Minecraft until uh, spring of 2011, so I wasn't there for Alpha or anything like that. I wasn't there for the Secret Friday updates and all that sort of stuff, where they just did an update and you kind of had to figure out what they did because they didn't tell you. I was never around for those, and that that's unfortunate, but, you know, that's just, that's just the way it goes. It would have been fun, but I just wasn't aware of Minecraft in those days. Actually, the uh, people who made me aware of Minecraft was the Yogscast. I'm sure they were, uh, a lot of people's first experiences with them. I actually came in and I watched their Survival Island series. I watched that when I had a day off or something like that. It was really, it was funny. I liked it. It was funny. But it was also like, hey, that game looks really neat. I like to do things like that. So I started looking into it and, and uh, I was, uh, I watched some more videos of theirs and I peeked at some other Minecraft videos. It's like, oh man, this looks really like a lot of fun. I should really think about this. And, you know, I, I try to spend my money as carefully as I can. I'm not very good at that. I'm not very good at that at all, so. Um, anyways, I'm getting a little off off track here. Uh, what I did was I went and tried out the free creative version, because there was a free creative version back then. I know there's a free sample version now or something, but... Back then, you could play the uh, free creative version, where you just get like a 
a square chunk of uh, randomly generated terrain that has different ores and minerals and stuff in it. And you could go in and play in that for free. You just couldn't save your game. So if you're like me and you got addicted like within the first five minutes of just toying around with this game and you realize I can't save this game but I want to keep building but I have to go to bed because it's 2.30 in the morning and I'm going to seem like a crazy person if I don't go to bed at a reasonable time then uh, then you kind of uh, you kind of just pay the money right away and that's what I did I uh, I uh, plunked down $21 for the uh, the beta at, I think it was 1.30 in the morning or something like that. Created my first world, played for half an hour on Peaceful, and then I went to bed. <laughs> and that was that was how my infatuation with Minecraft started. You know, it started there with the Ogscast. I played one hour of the free creative version, and after that, I couldn't get enough. I was hooked. So I paid money right away to 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 get the game. And that was how I got introduced to Minecraft and that's how I started playing and the rest is history. Well the rest is not history. I'll tell you more of the story another time. But for right now I think this episode is just about winding to a close. We've finished this roof here. I may make it uh pointier up at the top. I'm gonna cough again. <coughs> oh, excuse me, so sorry about that. Uh, may make this pointer up at the top. For now, I'm going to just light it up here. There we go. That's good for now. Let's go down and take a look at this. I think maybe I'll do the upside down stairs underneath the uh, eaves there. I'll have to finish the other side too, but... I like this. This looks nice. I think this looks good. Hopefully uh, the roof won't burn, won't catch on fire. That would be truly awful. But yeah, that looks good. Uh, I do have one more thing I want to do in this episode before we go. I have an unenchanted diamond pick. I want to enchant. And I'm going to be hoping for silk touch. I've got 32 levels here. Hi. You kind of startled me. Chicken guy. What was your other trade? Rip off. Other chicken guy. So the chicken guys are having a convention here. But anyways, I'm going to hope for Silk Touch. I'd like to be able to carry an Ender Chest with me wherever I go. Um, mm, I'm just so nervous about enchanting ever since I got burned with this bane of arthropods. Bull. Okay, let's try this. Uh, well, that's that's not a bad pick, but I have better picks. So I guess that'll be my mining pick now. <laughs> all right. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Once again, be sure to stay tuned for much more Discord Minecraft. We're going to be doing some other stuff. Uh, we might do one more episode here in the village, and then I might move on to either work on the secret project or do something else. But yeah, thanks again for watching, and I will see you another time.